God has always had down through the centuries time and place where he would meet with his people. He's always had a time to meet with his people and he's always had a place to meet with his people. And even when he brought them out of Egyptian bondage, he took them to the promised land. So God had a special place in his great provision and faithfulness for his people. We're going to give you the chronological story of how God has in his faithfulness and providence and goodness been so wonderful to bless his people, uh, the Church of Grace Park for nearly 40 years. 70 years ago this year, 1946, my dad purchased this piece of property, he and a few other folks, and they started Tabernacle Baptist Church. And they built the basement, met and worshiped in the basement. Some two years later, they built uh, the main floor, the main structure on top of the basement. And uh, they worshiped in that facility from 1948 until about 1974. Uh, in 1972, my dad went next door and built another facility. He called it his Christian Corral building. It was a building essentially for children and young people. And then uh, in 1972, I came here and followed my dad and became pastor. And in the meantime, we had gone outside of town and purchased about 20 acres of ground and started Springfield Christian Academy. And two years later, 1976, we went out and built our first school building out on the new property. Today, this church is known as South Haven Baptist Church. When they sold this building to Robertson County Funeral Home and relocated and started meeting out at the school building of the academy, uh, they renamed uh, the church and the school. And in 1976, this church birthed Tri-County Baptist Church in White House as a daughter church, as a mission church. Tri-County Baptist Church was born right here in this room. This was our first physical location. Our first service was the last Sunday in October 1976. I think that was October 30th. The last Sunday in October of that year, we began right here in this room. It was then the library of the middle school. We worshiped here on Sunday mornings. And the first Sunday, we had 51 in attendance. <laughs> Those were great days. Because we were in the municipal building and we didn't have a place for, for a midweek Bible study, so we rented this house right here. That was our church offices. It was the place where we had our midweek Bible studies. We moved out here in uh, February 1979. So we were, we were at the other building from October 76. We were there nearly two and a half years. It was Crazy Charlie's Fireworks Stand. And that's back before Interstate C, so this was, uh, Interstate stopped at Bowling Green. So from Bowling Green to Nashville, this was your main artery, 31 W. of planning our GO campaign, thinking how we might be creative in generating some revenue. The idea was established then that we could sell some of our frontage property out on Sage Road. And I called on a gentleman in Nashville, unrelated to raising money. And as I got ready to leave, he asked me how the church was doing. And I ended up telling him about our campaign and told him we had this property for sale, and he said, I'll buy it from you. And he gave us $200,000 for two acres. And after agreeing to that amount, I asked him if he would consider making a donation for another 100,000. And he brought his $100,000 check that Sunday. And then a year went by, and another gentleman bought that property from the new owner. 
And when the new owner sold it, he turned around and gave the proceeds of his sale back to the church. And the new owner also made a gift of 100,000 to the church on top of the purchase price. So $1.1 million God brought in off these two acres of ground right here. That's, that's a miracle, that's a God thing. We had a family in our church praying and considering the needs of the ministry and how they may be able to, to contribute and make a difference with how God had blessed them. They wanted to give this to the church. So the property was deeded to the church and then the church sold it and we netted a little over $125,000. You know, we, we certainly recognize that for any church, her greatest blessings, her greatest assets are her people, not her buildings. And so while we look at some amazing stories today relative to our facilities, the greatest stories are the stories that are out in this congregation today, the stories of what God's done in human lives and wonderful families. Back in February, um, Brother Bob had put it on my heart uh, in his sermon, and God spoke to me as well about uh, making my sacrifice. Well, that Sunday morning, Brother Bob had uh, preached a sermon, and we had, uh, he had asked us to put our heads down and eyes closed, and you know, it, he had asked if, if anybody could pledge a pledge a thousand dollars, and uh, I raised my hand. And uh, later that night, when I got home, me and my wife had talked, and it apparently had been working on her too. I wound up texting Brother Bob that night and letting him know, you know, that uh, how important it is to me that I can finally give something substantial. And uh, the reason behind that is mainly because of the way I grew up with the absence of Christ in my life. It made me realize how important this uh, Christian community schools are for these kids here, you know, and, and, and having Jesus in their life and having the quality school. Um, so I was able to make, make that decision a lot easier, realizing that what Jesus did for me, He can do for them. I'd always wanted to give substantially to the GO campaign, but uh, never really had the funds. Um, until around tax time, we had uh, had a little bit of money put back for a for an extra vehicle. It wasn't easy, you know. It, we struggled after, but uh, the sacrifice was made, and we could do great things here at Grace Park. And I definitely want to be a part of that. So I had to step out in faith, and I'm glad I did because it, it was real freeing for me. I don't worry about money anymore. I know that it everything's going to come to me through God. He's going to provide, and. Um, I just put my faith in Him and, and try to do exactly what it is he, he needs me to do.